How's it going guys? My name is Joe Montefico and we're going to talk about knives here at the Goose Hummock. We've got uh, actually a pretty impressive knife selection. We're not just fishing anymore. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is the Benchmade Atomus. It's designed by Shane Seibert. He's a really well-known knife maker in the custom knife industry and he designed this for Benchmade. This is the Auto Atomus, so it's not technically legal to carry, but it's a lot of fun to carry. Um, next, we're going to move into my favorite brand, which is Boker. And uh, Boker's cool because they do a lot of factory collaborations with custom knife makers in the industry. Um, the next two that I'm going to talk about are designed by Lucas Burnley, who's a really well-known, uh, accomplished knife maker in the industry. And the uh, first one is the Kihon. And this is a really cool knife. Um, it's, it's got a copper uh, handle which in a year or so it's going to look really good from patina, like natural patinas and stuff like that um, to liner lock and it's assisted. The cool thing about this knife is that most folders have uh, a stop pin. On this one the thumb stud is the stop pin. I don't know if you can see but this thumb stud is what locks it open instead of a pin being back here. That's the key Han. Copper. The next one, um, I've carried one of these for a lot of years, this is a Quiken. And um, it's really Japanese, traditional Japanese inspiration, also designed by Lucas Burnley. Um, and it's just a really sleek, slim uh, knife that fits really nice in your pocket. And you can see it's just a bar, you know, there's no need to complicate things. It's just a really simple, nice design. Runs on bearings, so really easy to flip open. Again, that's designed by Lucas Burnley. This goes for 165, D2 steel. Uh, the next one we're gonna talk about is the best price point in the Goose Hummock selection of knives. This is the Boker Plus Intention. Um, it's automatic knife, G10 handle, D2 blade, awesome components, 60 bucks. It's, you know, you're just not gonna find that this kind of quality at that price point anywhere else. Um, this one is a Coyote G10 handle with a black stonewash blade, uh, D2 blade, um, really nice clip on it, and it's just got this button here to release it, just like that. This last one I'm going to talk to you about, um, I actually am a custom knife maker and I design for Boker. Um, I do a lot of fish themed knives. so. Um, and I'm a fly fisherman, so I love trout. I love brook trout especially. And this is Boker Plus the Brook, designed by me, Joe Mangifico. Um, and it's really, it's a structural mosaic of brass, copper, and G10 fiberglass on a VG10 blade. And this thing does not rust. I'm telling you, the polished VG10, I take it in salt water all the time and I don't, I don't rinse it off. It's awesome. Um, we'll throw up a, a little picture of a brook trout so you can get the the idea behind it, but uh, it's a fixed blade. I like fixed blades a lot better than folders just because of dirt, salt, grit, that kind of thing. Um, this comes with Boker's version of a tech lock here. Awesome for, awesome for belt carry or pocket carry. And this last one that I'm gonna talk to you about is a really fun one. Um, this is the M4 Sherman Tank Knife by Boker. Chad Nichols makes a lot of Damascus for every knife maker in the industry, pretty much. Um, and he sourced, uh, well really, Boker sourced uh, uh, steel from M4 Sherman tanks in World War II. And had Chad Nichols forge it into Barstock Damascus. Chad sent that Barstock to Solingen, Germany, where Boker is manufactured. And they manufactured this knife. It's a titanium frame lock with a burlap micarta scale. And it's just an awesome collector's piece. Um, we've sold a bunch of these and they're just, I'd have a hard time putting hard use on it just because it's so beautiful, but um, I'll give you a little close up of that. And uh, those are my top five or six uh, knives in the Goose Hummock knife selection. This has been Joe Mangifico. I look forward to making more videos for the Goose and uh, see you guys on the water.